Greetings, stargazers. Today on Merry Merry Meeples, we are going to be looking inside the box of Astra from Mind Clash Play. Here's the back of the box. It comes with some markers, some boards, these little token things, a bunch of cards, two to five players, 20 minutes per play player, 10 and up. Discover the night sky's constellations and bring them to life either by assisting your fellow players or by taking the constellations yourself. Let's pop the box open. See what we got in here. We got a rule book. We got the components. Game overview. Constellations. The different elements. Final scoring. Stars. Your journal. Which is your place of your player board. The sphere board. And now we get into the game setup, the general setup, gameplay, the ability phase, the action phase, making a, or marking a grand star, additional observe actions, the rest action, still more of the rest actions, the discovery phase, picking boons, all these examples, gaining constellation stars. Game end, final scoring, additional rules for a two-player game, and the gameplay, discovery phase, and dream phase in a two-player game, dreaming rules, which is a specific thing in the two-player game, and then here's the appendix of the boons, and all of the constellation abilities that you'll be seeing here shortly. Alright, now you got these couple of different boards, these are for the different player counts. So that's two players, three players, four, five. We did get the promo pack. Let me show you those promo cards really quick. You have a top hat. So on these cards, this is the element symbol, which you'll see corresponds to this wheel, and that pertains to when you do the rest action, whether or not that this would unexhaust is if you're in that phase. This is how many stars are on the card. That's how many points it's going to be worth. These are the boons that people get to choose from, and this is the ability you get. You have top, so top hat, love, shield head, exosuit, dreadnought, cauldron. Back to the top hat. So that was the promo cards. Here we have those player journals, which are the player sheets. Let's get those open. These are double sided and these are dry erased so this is where you put your stardust, this is where you put any telescope tokens you got, this pertains to how many constellation stars you're able to have, here is your score track along the outside and this is how much stardust you get when you rest or up to, up to five so if you have more than five and you rest you don't get any, if you're at four you'd get up to five all the way up to twelve and you have five of those. You have this nice little token. First player marker. Here are the telescope tokens. The dry erase markers that come with it. Nice vibrant colors. They pop really well on these cards. Here is your stardust. These nice little gems. You have the player aid cards, so here's your final scoring. And on the back, these are actually your secret goals. Is you are going to, for every one of these you get, you're going to cross over. For every one that you have, you get 3, 6 points, 2, 6, 11 there. So those are a bunch of those. Here's the player aid, game end, or the one that signifies the game end, you put this into the deck. So it tells you what happens when this comes up. Here's the player aids. So turn sequence for three to five players. And then flip it over, turn sequence for two players. So now we are into the constellation cards. These are like the bonus cards. These show how many stars are in there, how many points, the element, its name. These brighter stars, those are the grand stars. They have actual names. When you fill those in, 
that's one of the ways you get the wisdom down here and this one that's circled here is where you have to start and then the boons so Scorpius Lupus so you have all the different constellations you may know or may not know like I did not realize there was this many constellations but I am not a constellationologist I am just a board game player Butes Delphinus so as you see it's a mighty big stack uh, some of the powers do duplicate that's not really a big de deal to me because of how big of a deck it is that there are plenty of different options anyways plus someone else might get in you might want that power so at least you're not Cassiopeia out that power big crab Hydra so we're looking Hydra it's just one snake where's its multiple heads there's serpents crater looks like a trophy Capricornus Lepus Triangulum Ursa Minor. So that is all the cards, and that is everything that is in the game Astra from Mind Clash Play. I was the groom. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.